Hi, in this section, we'll do something special. We're going to create, <coughs> use more data than one record. We're actually going to uh, use a list of data. And we're going to loop through that list of data and uh, iterate over it and add paragraphs to the document. A paragraph is actually every piece of text that's in a document, but it can also be, and that's the case we are using today, a numbered list or a bullet point list or any other type of list that you can mention. So this is what we're going to replace. Opportunity product P, that's our merge field. We're going to replace it with the product name and the price, that's our merge field for the price, of course. Let's see how to do that. <coughs> Step one is create a new data source, of course, of type SOCOL. We call it opportunity line items. Make sure that it's of type list because there are multiple records that we expect. So, and for the query, this time I'm not using the SOCOL builder, but you can perfectly build the query with a SOCOL builder. This time, I'm just going to copy paste it from the uh, basic configuration document that you can find in the get started section of our website. Copy it and paste it. Okay, let's save it. That's all we need to do here to select the data from the products in the opportunity. Let's go to our config. It's already loaded. So, step one, let's add the data source, opportunity line items, unit price, let's make it a currency, quantity, let's make it a number, okay, all the rest are just text fields, cool. So, step one, let's add a config type to identify the paragraph that we want to repeat for every record in the opportunity line items. The type is paragraph in this case. The data source is, of course, opportunity line items. The merge field is, and I'll take you back to the document. I'm going to use the first, first merge field in the uh, paragraph to identify the paragraph. Okay, this is it. So our paragraph is identified. We identified the data source linked to it. So now the system knows that in this paragraph, he has to repeat for every record in opportunity line items. When there are no records, it will remove all paragraphs. Okay, now we want to re uh, replace these merge fields with some text coming from opportunity line items. So let's add as a child to products, two new uh, config types. Okay, first one to add. Okay, this is the one. It's of type single because we want to replace one, one merge field. The data source is the same one as the parent because I want to reuse the record I'm currently on. I want to take the name of the product and ident identify the merge field. So, what we see here is the merge field that's there. This one is used first to identify the paragraph. Second, to identify the place, uh, to use as a placeholder to uh, replace with a product name. Okay, when this is done, we'll just add a second one. We call it opportunity price P from paragraph. Same, it's a single, it uses the parent data source, it will be the unit price, for now no formatting, that's later, and we'll, use the, uh, we'll identify it in a merge field. Okay, now we have done that, let's save it. No errors, so we are ready to test. Let's go to the opportunity. Uh, make sure that you select an opportunity that has products so this one has three products in here i think even more than three but we'll see in the document within a second the document is created 
same merge field is still replaced here. And what do you see? That the paragraph has been repeated for every item and uh, for uh, every product in the opportunity line items. Okay, next up, table row, table, all of the other things. Thanks.